is up people, welcome back to another episode of All The Mods Expert. I hope everybody's doing alright, I'm doing pretty good. And first of all, I gotta address something. Uh, if you've watched the little update videos about my channel, uh, you know that I pretty much record things in advance. Uh, right now, like right now I'm doing it. And because of that, that means that, uh, well, this video, I haven't seen the comments of the last three. So, yeah, I know it's not that impressive, it's not really nice for you guys, because when I answer, I can actually, you know, have already done the thing you're talking about, and I'm trying to say, like, well, just gotta watch next episode, or stuff like that in the comment. Uh, I'm sorry for this, but until I actually get settled in my new place, this is pretty much how it's going to be, uh, and I might have even more videos where I don't see the comments. Uh, but I'm still going to try to look at the comments and answer as much as I can. And uh, yeah, so let's just get uh, going. So I was looking at this here. Uh, we can remove the F7. And uh, I like it. I like having the system, but I don't like having it here. So I'm going to do what I said I wouldn't do. And I'm actually going to build a base. Uh, we're going to go a little bit more simpler, though. Uh, we're going to go for the colored blocks. And these things are magical. They do nothing. Uh, actually, they do a bunch of things, but you need to have some dyes. Uh, so if we come here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to build with white. Uh, just because I, I seem to be on a white parkour lately. So, you know, there we go. We've got stuff. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the whitest of the whitest of block, which is RGB 255. So we're going to take 50. We're going to take all that we can for the moment, and we're simply going to lay out a little bit of things just after I show you this spawner. This spawner is special. Uh, it has lesser sprite. Always on. Come on, sprite. Oh, wait. There we go. For some reason, they decide that they want to come here. There we go. They give me overleaf. Overworld leaf. So it's pretty cool for that. I can just like turn it on and start killing them and I get uh, good stuff. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I just needed a way I didn't want to do the ritual so I made one and then I was able to capture it and place it in there in the spawner and then uh, take the spawner. So alright, I did even a bigger area here. Uh, I've got no idea how big I want the base. So we're just gonna make D outside of it. So uh, this here, going to maybe here, to all the way, uh, let's place a couple of blocks just to make sure that we know that we're going in a straight line, because sometimes I'm an idiot, uh, and then we're going to calculate how big this thing is. Okay, so all the way up to here. So if we stand here, we are at 804, and when we go all the way over there, we are at uh, 8.51, so that means we have 47 blocks, uh, 48 with the one over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove one, because I want things to be uh, not the even type, but the other one. You know, uneven. That That's not the word. Odds. That That's the word. Uh, all right, so we're going to do the same thing going this way. So we're going to place a couple of blocks. Bam, bam, and I think actually this here is enough because we're going to go in a diagonal. Uh, maybe all the way to here, and let's do the same thing on the other side. Actually, I didn't check if it was another or an even number here. So over here we are at... Uh, uh, 80, 85. So if we go over there, we're 409. So it's actually good. We're in an odd number. It was 24 plus this one. Because you, you start here, you finish there at 9. So it means you have 24 plus the one you're standing on. So that actually worked. Okay, so where torches are, perfect. It's easy to align. 
and we're gonna come uh, right here there we go perfect so if we go that way maybe this is enough yeah I think this is enough so pretty much what I want is I want a wall that is not straight because you know that's the way to go <laughs> you always want a wall that is not straight in your house it's always easier to place blocks uh, no even if I don't want it complicated it's going to be it's me after all uh, but all right so pretty much yeah everything's going to be white the walls are going to be white well most of them uh, over here I'm going to have uh, mainly white walls uh, I need to talk about something I didn't understand this thing uh, by the way this is not creative it's made like this but there's a glitch where it doesn't use any of the blocks look I still have 29 and 40 I still have 29 and 40 so I think there's an error in the mod or something uh, I'm gonna get rid of those uh, but yeah I kind of used it to do uh, some filling in things like when I build the iron farm and and stuff but uh, the iron farm is destroyed so it's not an issue uh, so we were at 40 and I don't remember <laughs> uh, there you go we'll, we'll get rid of those I don't know uh, but yeah, so I can't really use this one because it's kind of cheating. It duplicates blocks. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to duplicate blocks, you get a bis the builder's one, and it's easy to build. So all right, let's let's get the walls coming in. Uh, one thing that is cool with this mod is that it's compatible with chisel and bits. So if we ever want to add some more details, which we're eventually probably going to do, uh, we will be able to. Uh, the walls and diagonals, they will be made with chisel and bits, uh, but it's not a big thing considering the fact that they are pretty much the solid blocks. They will just be in diagonals. Uh, we don't have any more of the white blocks. Eh. I don't know what's happening with this, like the, the lag and stuff. It's really annoying and it's not just in this game, I had it in the arc. Uh, I don't get it in shooters or anything like that. It's just mainly those kind of games. We'll need this, and I'm gonna have to get like a bunch more bones. Oh, I've got bones. Bones, bones, bones. Uh, I, I need more uh, cobble though. Uh, so let's get this one, this one, and this one. And let's show you also what is cool with this mod is that you can also do glowing blocks so you can light up the place without this being dangerous uh, so of course you will need some of this uh, let's get the whole thing 18 it's not a lot so there you go glowing white blocks and they pretty much emit light if we click f7 remove this place that oh that's the wrong block it's not the glowing one there you go it lights up the place. The only thing is that it flashes a little bit, so it's like it could be better if it wasn't flashing, but there wouldn't be a difference between these and the flashy blocks. So probably what I'm going to do is instead of having like lights around, I'm going to do uh, these blocks a little bit everywhere. Uh, we will be able to see them, but that's not a big issue. So I think this is a pretty good uh, size. But this isn't actually uh, the whole thing, because what I want to do is I want to make the entrance underground. We're not going to get in at this level, we're going to come down a little bit and the entrance is going to be a little bit above. So it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, this thing is going to be too high. Well, on the, the, the curved side, it's actually going to be way taller than two, uh, but uh, it's going to be nice. Oops let's uh, that's a light block I'm gonna place those after but all right guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue with the shell uh, and when I do the side bits with the chisel and bits I'll bring you guys back it shouldn't take me long to do this I'm gonna go well I need to go mine because I need more blocks I need to get more bones and those kind of things uh, but that like I say it shouldn't take too long 
All right, guys, I thought I would actually show you uh, what I'm doing right now because uh, the bones are getting a little bit slow because, you know, just skeletons, they're so slow and stuff. Uh, I was going to come here and I was going to do soul uh, shard something, that thing. We, we want one of those. Yeah, uh, I did go mine a uh, lever to have one. I don't, but I can do this because I'm lazy and I don't have a stick. I don't have a stick. Really? A stick. Uh, but yeah, those work with redstone when they're level 5. So that's going to be pretty useful. I presume I should have a stick here. I'm gonna do this. We need now one piece of redstone because at the height at which the spawner is, is uh, we need one piece of redstone. Oops, I forget. It's not. Uh, it's shift right click. There we go. Uh, let's put that in there. This. Yeah, I could just clean my inventory a little bit like so. Perfect. So we're gonna go install the, this. It should be pretty easy to install, and it should be a lot better than what I have right now. Uh, tier 5 is kind of... How can I explain? Uh, it, it's like if a spawner took steroids, except they're not really steroids. They're also um, speed, cocaine, and a lot more bad things. <laughs> well, it depends. Some people don't say they're bad things, but some people do. Um, I'm gonna have to go up there. <laughs> don't really have a way to get back up except teleporting out and walking back over there but yeah the reason you want this to be uh, controlled is because he, it doesn't care about how many how many skeletons there in the world so it's pretty much going to break your world uh, let's do this let's remove that here all right we're gonna place blocks here I'll light this thing up so that it lights this and then we're going to install our soul in there. Okay, with our skeletons. Perfect. Okay, let's go back up. We'll remove that. We'll remove... Actually... Um, we're going to place blocks around the redstone. I kind of need to go down. That would be a lot easier. There we go, there we go. Let's do this. Let's go back up here. Remove this. Go back. Remove this. Go back up. Alright, are you ready? That's turned off. One, two. Those are all wither skeletons. That means I can get skulls, I can get bad things, I can get bones, but I won't get any bones. That's what's cool. I don't think I can, like, do this fast enough. But alright, so now that this is done, uh, I will continue killing them and get more stuff, and I will bring you guys back when I'm actually ready. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, so I've worked really hard and just making this and making it that it uh, lights up so you can see there's glowing blocks a little bit everywhere. I went to the nether and mined a bunch of freaking close down. That took long time. Um, but uh, yeah, in my inventory you still have some floral black uh, because you can use this with dyes with this and in my alloy smelter uh, I think I don't have any sound. Yeah, I was killing some uh, skeletons, so I <laughs> removed the sound. Uh, I can have this, and then we can change the glass into transparent black glass. Uh, black block, which is going to be good. There we go. Uh, we don't need, well, we do need that a lot, uh, but the uh, next step is chisel. <clears throat> so if you look here, we're going to be able to go into, not that chisel, but the chisel in bits. Uh, we're going to go for the diamond one, of course, because <laughs> why would you go for it? You know, the, uh, the thing is, I think I got more diamonds than... Uh, it's true, my system is now here. Um, 
but I probably don't have sticks because you know uh, do I have wood no do I have plank no I don't have planks and I don't have sticks in here I should probably bring just a tiny amount of wood just to make sure that we can craft stuff like that oh and I almost lost this uh, so all right let's uh, grab this I think we should be good with that all right uh, by the way, while I was like building this, I was standing on one side and mobs were spawning on the other. <laughs> so, yep, that happened. Okay, there we go. So let's make sticks like so, and let's make a diamond. Bam! We got a chisel. Oh yeah! Next step will be to completely lag when you click R to get a recipe. Uh, we we need some bits. So let's do this. We're gonna do half cube. Gonna take this. Uh, well, maybe we'll do like a single bit for the moment. There we go. Like this. I think it's gonna to be okay. Uh, then in here, I don't think I've got wool either. No, I don't have wool. I didn't put any crafting material, uh, like building materials over there. Like blocks and things like that, because I don't have a lot of storage. Uh, I've got 11. We can get a little bit more string. I should really automate this process, to be honest. Uh, I should make another farmer station thingy and uh, use it for string. That would be really, really useful. There we go. Crafting bench. And let's do this. Let's make a lot because we'll need a lot. All right, let's change this guy to being half cubes. There we go. Perfect. So the blocks that we have over there, they're going to be pretty much the middle blocks. So they are imported. Let's come here. And we're gonna have like our line of uh, blocks over there. So this one is the thing that we're gonna place. Uh, we're gonna do uh, this one. So what I want to do is pretty much do a full line in the middle to do this. So, then we're going to go even smaller to make uh, more details. <laughs> this thing takes time. Uh, yeah, that's the full block. Perfect. Okay, so if we go here, we got this one. We're going to go, I think it's, no, small cube is too small. We're going to go for a line like this. That's going to be perfect. Nice. Alright, same thing on the other side, and of course I'm gonna fall. It it was already prepared that I was gonna f I didn't I didn't think I was gonna fall there though. <laughs> okay. There, 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 and there. So pretty much this is going to go all the way along. And for the other part, I don't I don't know where I placed this. Is it in here? Nope. White blocks. Where did I place my white blocks? Oh. Huh. Maybe, maybe, maybe they are in here. Well, let's sleep first. I don't want any monsters killing me. Or anything of the sort. Uh, I keep having the problem that when I sleep, like I don't get off of bed and I need to kick myself off the server. It's really annoying, but I guess goes with the job. Uh, do I have something? I have a block of quartz. It's not in here. Ah, there it is. White block, white block, white block, white block. Perfect. That's what I was... That's what I wanted. Alright. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a white block. Then we're gonna take the chisel. And we're gonna remove... Lines. So we're gonna go like this, 
Uh, actually, one more. Like so. Bam. And then we're gonna grab connected... Connected plane. And bam! So we've got our block that pretty much we need. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a positive chisel plan. So we need a bucket of water. Should have a bucket somewhere. Again, probably in one of the storage. And one of the many, many storage. Yes, bucket. Alright. Uh, I've got water over here. There we go. Put that in there. Uh, can I just do this? No, I don't have paper. Again, let's go in the other one to get paper. <laughs> Can't wait to have all of this at the same place. What I'm gonna do is probably uh, like a drawer controller. And I have a bunch of drawers for the building blocks and everything else is gonna be in the storage. Like I normally usually do. It's pretty much always that. Uh, I need paper, which is here. But this base is going to be great. I think it's just big enough to place a couple of things. We can build the underground to uh, have some machines in there. There we go. We've got a positive thing. And I think what I can do is something like this. Well, actually, those are going to be a little bit different. Actually, no, I can't make them different. Uh, this is going to go. If I do this, like that, and then I take my plan, and I copy this. I can change the full blocks into it, and I'm going to get uh, the, the white blocks that I need here. Oops. Oh, it's true. This is the thing that I ate. The Z button always gets put on circuit monocle and you can delete it done and next time you're gonna come here wait I can't I can't even is there another Z yes there's another one uh, where's the third Z uh, there it is done there we go seriously it should not cause an issue there we go there we go. So pretty much I'm going to do this on all sides. And this is going to make it that the side is going to be straight. Uh, I know it's not exactly like super flat. Uh, I kind of wish there was like the... There's some blocks that you, you could do slopes. Uh, but the mod is not in here. So yeah. I was thinking of using it but it's not in here. So sadly, uh, and when I want to place, well, I can just do this and it's going to place instead. So what I'm probably going to do is place all the blocks here, change them. And on the other side, I'm going to do the placement so that I got exactly the right amount of material. So I'm going to continue working on this, place all the glass everywhere, uh, all the way around over there in the back, over there too. And uh, I might do try to do an entrance here. So I'll do this, I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, so I've placed everything there, but I'm a little bit bummed out. Uh, first of all, this like the lines kind of makes me freak out, so I'm not a fan. And I'm also not a fan of this. I was moving there. Placing takes forever next to those. If let's say I go to the middle where there's no chiseled blocks, everything's fine. But if I come closer, now I can see through the world and when I break something, it takes forever. So I'm thinking I might get rid of all the sloped blocks and just place normal blocks instead. Uh, it doesn't seem to affect when the blocks are straight, like these. Here, as you can see, it's fine. Uh, it seems to really be when there's like these that are like sloped and everything. So yeah, I think I'm simply going to have to remove all of them because it is not working at all. 
So yeah. But the inside is pretty much done, well for this level, uh, and I want to have my system over here, like pretty much here. Here's when I, where I want my system to grab my items. Uh, to do this though, we need to get the power from over there to over here. And to do this, I think we're gonna go the route of power cells, this one. But I need prismarine shards, so it means I need to kill this guy. Uh, and there's a trick to kill this guy, really, really simple trick. Uh, you need to go kill them. Yeah, that, that's pretty much a trick, just kill them. Uh, no, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna teleport around there, uh, 460 teleport. And yeah, the only problem is this, I should bring a night vision potions. So, alright guys, let me make the night vision potions. I completely forgot that I was gonna need some uh, to do this. Uh, and I'll bring you guys back. Uh, this is sad. I don't know what they put in this water, but it sure doesn't look healthy. <laughs> They're kind of faster than me. They just keep leaving. So I think I'm gonna use the bow. Wow, that was bad. The only thing with the bow is that it's not the most efficient to get loot. Hey, come back. Oh, we need to, uh, there you go, more oxygen. Uh, oh, there, there's another one over there. So I should probably find like an ocean monument, it would be the best idea. There you go. Well, we got nine, which is actually enough for what I want to do. I made so many of those potions. I keep forgetting that it's like super easy to make. So I don't make that many. Okay, I think I think we have enough to go. So let's go home. Wow, teleporting sometimes is weird. Uh, let's put those in there. Okay. So we're gonna be able to do this. I might have to go grab a witch to make a spawner for witches because I'm running out of redstone, I believe. I went and mined some more. Pretty sure, yeah, I'm running out. I've got blocks too. So that should work. Uh, let's do this. So we need to make those. Do I have constant ingot? Yeah, I've got electric. Do I? Do I have those? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Okay, let's go power cell. Let's see, can we make one of these? No, we need elect elect something. I never remember the name. Um, okay. So this thing here, Electrum. We can, I think, make it in here, silver and gold. So, wow, I'm running out of gold. And uh, I was thinking of making a zombie farm just to get the heart, change them into gold nuggets. Because you can't, you don't get it from uh, killing zombie pigments. So that's kind of the issue. Uh, all right, so we're gonna get a little bit of that. And silver. I don't have a lot of silver either. <laughs> I'm running out! There you go, some good Electrum. Alright. That should give us enough. Perfect. One, two, bam, bam. And I believe you actually need one of those to make... Uh, oh no, we'll be good. Okay, let's put that. Let's do this. Bam. Machine frame. Well, actually, thinking of this, we need two. We need one to send and one to receive, right? That's kind of how this thing works. All right, so let's do this again. We'll make two. Do that. Bam. And then we go for power cells. One. And a two. Oh, yeah. We also need this thing. What? The hell is this? 
<laughs> what the hell is this thing? Really, we need a macerator? We can't do it any other way? It's really just ender dust, so... And this one is disabled, so we need to make a macerator? Oh boy, okay. Uh, do I have a machine frame already? No. So let's get some stuff to do this. Alright guys, well, I'm gonna do all these things. I need six of this. Uh, and I'll bring you guys back so we can install things over there. Uh, if you don't know, this is my little setup. It pops them up here. Oh, it shouldn't do all at the same time. Oh, that's because I've got this. There we go. Now it's gonna do it better. And then here, it gets them down here. Why? Why, why is it doing that? It shouldn't go up there when there's nothing. There's no place. Oh, and I've got my other one over here. Alright, I'm gonna work on making uh, the macerator that we need. And uh, I'll bring you guys back to put stuff in there. I might also just remove all of those uh, and just put the ones in the middle. And here you have it, guys. I've got my four ender pearls dusting doodler. Uh, if I come here and I do this... Oh, wait, I should probably go in there. Uh, do this, do that, do this. Oh, actually, I need to do this first. There we go. And with this, we'll be able to craft two of those. So I'll be able to install the module. Then I'll be able to link it. This one is going to be in. So it's going to take the power from all our generation. And then if we go in there, I still haven't removed. I'm going to remove it because it lags a lot. So I won't do it when I'm not too busy. This thing is huge. I didn't think it, I made it that big, but uh, pretty cool. And uh, bam, power in. And now we have 2 million storage over here. So I'll be able to move the storage all the way over here. And what I think I'm going to do is when I remove the sides, I'm going to start mining under and maybe put some walls. I'm going to be able to put like the, the storage with the drawers at the bottom instead of being at the top. At the top, we can put a little bit of machines and stuff like that. Uh, but guys, that is actually going to be it for today. So I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If you don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.